Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how I make a smoothie that's great for the cut, it calms inflammation, it's amazing for constipation, and if you watch my stories, you know I love to talk about pooping and constipation because it's something I'm always suffering with. So, let's get started. I found this incredible supplement from Will Cole. It's called glutoalamine. Uh, the main ingredient in it is L-glutamine and aloe vera. This helps with leaky gut. It helps with SIBO. It helps with uh, gut inflammation and it'll help you poop every morning. So I'm gonna take one full scoop. I'm gonna add it to my blend tech. I like my blend tech, but I'm going to try a Vitamix uh, for my next purchase. I'm going to do a full cup of oat milk. I love oat milk because um, it has a very creamy uh, consistency and a creamy texture. And I like to use minor figures because they don't have any canola oil in the organic brand. Be very careful with oat milk because a lot of them have Rapeseed oil and canola oil, which are two vegetable oils that are carcinogenic. Uh, they wreak havoc on the gut and on the pancreas. Uh, they uh, suppress the immune system. And with COVID and with flu season coming up, you really want to do all you can to boost the immune system. And uh, restricting from vegetable oils is a great place to start. The next ingredients are about a half cup of frozen kale and a half cup of wild blueberries. I love to use wild blueberries because they detox from heavy metals and uh, medical medium goes into depth as to why they're so good. Um, I like to use a half of an avocado, a small avocado, and the reason why I'm using avocado is because I want to get the creamy consistency that a banana would give me, but bananas bind you and they cause constipation. So that's why I'm using the avocado so that I still get the creamy consistency without the constipation. Then I'm going to use about a tablespoon of uh, Ceylon cinnamon. So when you're at the store, you want to shop for Ceylon and not Cassia Cinnamon. Ceylon is incredible for the brain. It protects against Alzheimer's. It is anti-inflammatory. It's filled with antioxidants. It's anti-cancer. Um, it actually has been shown in studies to stabilize uh, blood sugar and to completely put uh, people who have diabetes in remission. Uh, so there's so many uh, benefits. It's also great for your blood pressure. So I'll add this. Then I'm going to add one really big tablespoon of organic cacao powder. And then I'm going to do one really big tablespoon of cacao nibs because it gives it this like, crunchy consistency. Um, I like to avoid nuts because they do cause constipation and bloating in some people. I know for some people they're really good, but the one nut that um, my Korean acupuncturist uh, says is okay for me is a Brazil nut and Brazil nuts are easier on the digestive system They're also uh, filled with selenium Really really good to protect uh, your hormones really beneficial for women and you only need like one or two and they make this smoothie just taste so delicious Then I'm going to use just a sprinkle of pink salt. And I use pink Himalayan salt instead of sea salt because sea salt has been found to have uh, plastic in all the samples that they're testing. And I actually wrote a blog about it, I think like 
90% of the sea salt that's on the market that they're testing uh, tested positive for plastic. So I'm avoiding sea salt. Then the next ingredient that I'm using is um, ionic minerals from We Care Spa. Uh, these stabilize my uh, blood sugar. They really help me like in terms of like brain fog and after I have my period I just get really lightheaded and dizzy and these minerals just bring me back into balance and make me feel so good they're one of my favorite supplements that I can rave and rave about you're supposed to take 40 drops a day and that's about a full dropper then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of honey because I didn't put um, any banana in this. I want to add just a little bit of sweetener. So I'm just going to put about a teaspoon of honey. Usually the banana would naturally sweeten this, but because I'm avoiding the banana, I'm adding the honey. And that's it. I'm going to blend this together. The reason I bought the blend tech was because you can walk away from it while you're blending, which is nice, but I feel like the power of the Vitamix is a little bit better. And that's it. Amazing.